Europe will have to fight Russia along its borders. The next few weeks will be critical for Ukraine, writes the Times. It is noted that Ukrainian commanders are now calculating the motives for the advance of Russian troops of the Kharkov region. Is this a ploy designed to divert Ukrainian reserves from the battle for Chasov Yar, an important strategic position in the Donbass, or is this a real attack on Kharkiv? Supposed that on this section of the front, the Russian Federation has accumulated about 35,000 military personnel. This is clearly not enough to capture Kharkov itself, but perhaps this is not the goal. If the Russians manage to get just a few kilometers further, they will be able to point barrel artillery at the city and begin an aggressive bombardment. Presumably, the goal is to move southwest towards Liptsa, a larger village about 25 kilometers from the center of Kharkov. If the Russians get there, NATO allies will have to watch what happens to the city and wonder if they could have prevented it by sending planes and munitions earlier, the publication said. It is indicated that at the moment, Russian infantry is mainly attacking small settlements in relatively small numbers, apparently more focused on expanding the front line than on deepening it. And the most pressing problem for Ukrainians now is the movement of Russian troops to the southeast towards Volchansk. To the west of the city, the Russians have advanced furthest towards the Donetsk River. If they take the bridge of Bukrovatka, they could cut off Ukrainian logistics supplies to the city. Advancing south from there along the Donetsk River would make it difficult to supply the city of Kupiansk. Larger Russian forces have long been. They are trying to push the Ukrainians back across the Oskol River in order to threaten the main Ukrainian forces in the Donbass from the north, writes the Times. Pointing out that the next few weeks will be critical, the publication asked questions. Will Western artillery ammunition arrive in Ukraine in time to change the situation? And will European countries be ready to part with their Patriot air defense systems to deter Russian aircraft? It is noted that with a few good options, Ukraine's allies should expect further requests from Kyiv to finally untie their hands or they will have to fight the next war along European borders. A controlled explosion has been conducted to remove a collapsed section of Baltimore Bridge in Maryland State. As a result of demolition, chunks of collapsed bridge were broken apart. The Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed on March 26 after a ship struck it, causing it to collapse and killing six construction workers. The collision sent around 4,000 tons of debris into the Patapsco River. The operation was delayed over the weekend due to bad weather. The video circulated on social media showed the steel pieces falling into the water. Authorities in Maryland said on Monday they hoped to move the ship within two days. After we do the precision cutting, we will then go back and resurvey the channel as well as survey around the dolly to make sure there are no obstructions that come from that precision cutting that would interfere with traffic. Then we will reopen the limited access channel to traffic at that particular time, said U.S. Coast Guard Rear ADM Shannon Gilreth. It's estimated that it will cost up to $1.9 billion and take more than four years to rebuild the bridge. Boom! Oh my god, that's scary. And just like that, oh my god. the smoke begins to clear. And it was quite a quite a pop. Quite a pop indeed. Is that it? I think I have tinnitus. Wow. Holy crap. That's wow. What? I think I got tinnitus. Let's get the shit out of here. Oh my god, that's scary. And just like that. The smoke begins to clear, and it was quite a quite a pop, quite a pop indeed. Is that it? 